हेलो गाइस हेलो सर कैन वी प्रोसीड लेट मी शेयर माय स्क्रीन today topic we are going to discuss about ssl and tls protocol guys what is ssl and tls protocol ssl <coughs> SSL means secure secure socket layer socket layer correct and TLS means transport layer security good transport layer security right so what will happen in this secure socket layer what what does it has like the it uh, functions on the basis of like server and client uh, a model where uh, the server presents a cert uh, certificate that is obtained from a certify a certificate authority what a secure socket layer will have it it is it will be having like uh, your answer is correct the I'm ip address and the port number yeah not ip address and port these are the three different versions of tls right 1.2 1.3 and 1.0 Correct. Yeah. Yes. So all the all of these three has the core functionality are same. Okay. Why it is like different different version? It is having to. It's like more secured, more encrypted. functionality in that so because of that reason it, it is uh, upgrading day by day okay before it was 1.0 now it is 1.2 nowadays 1.2 will be used and 1.3 will be used correct so how how does this works so let's assume this is our client and this is our server so if you want to communicate between this so what will what will be using like https dot something facebook.com or google.com something we are using right so when we type this in browser like i am talking about after uh, this lock secure lock okay guys Are you getting my point or not? As no one is responding. Can you repeat, sir? Hmm. Okay. So this SSL and TLS, uh, means both are same thing or different thing for source? Same thing. Same thing. Okay. <clears throat> okay so what i am discussing about here in the sense like it it isn't like uh, what we can say this is like somewhat updated versions we will we'll call it as SS, ssl or tls protocol okay so what will happen 
I'm just, uh, I'm not discussing about the TCP three-way handshake. This is our server. This is our client. If they want to communicate from client to server, like something you want to access HTTPS, something, something, google.com. Okay. So in browser, you can able to see this lock, correct? Yes, right? sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. What, that, what does that mean? That means this website is secured, right? Mm, yes. 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 So once this, when you, you are able to see this lock, when the three-way TCP handshake is completed. Okay. Mm. Okay. After this, I am talking about like how, how does the SSL or TLS connection will work here? I'm going to discuss that thing now. Okay. Mm. Okay, after this, what will happen? SSL handshake placed. Okay. So let's assume like uh, on somewhere, somewhat about TCP 443. Not every time uh, it will be used as a TCP 443 by default. But for example purpose, we can use this thing now as of now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is an uh, HTTP 443 request, right? What if uh, if we don't have the secured connection? What will happen? Like this is computer uh, client and this is server. Uh, some website is hosted over here. Let's assume like Google is hosted over here. So you're trying to access something from here. So in reply, you'll you'll get, get the information from this server, like right? you are able to access google.com over here. Okay. If some some bad guy or some someone is sitting over here, he can able to steal your information, right? Yes, sir. Like what does, what will SSL encryption do? What does the encryption word means? It changes normal text to the cipher text. Just secure yeah. the communication between client and server. Yeah. Correct. So, yeah. so what if see again in the internet and you this is the server, somewhat Google server, and this is your client, and uh, if it is traffic is encrypted, so if some bad guy is trying to penetrate over here, okay, what he'll get? He'll get some encrypted key, right? Which he can't, which he can't decrypt. Yes, we can't. Yeah, decrypt. Decrypt. Yes. Yeah. Decryption is possible uh, up to some instant. Okay. Um, but you can say decryption is not possible whenever. Uh, uh, someone is asking you in the interview or anything. Okay. Uh, decryption is possible. That is a different topic. When it comes to the cyber forensic, digital forensic part, we can able to see this. Like how to decrypt this encrypted file if you don't have a encrypted key. Up to some instant. Not all encrypted files you can decrypt. Okay. Up to some instance in, in the sense that is more than enough and you should be having supercomputers to decrypt that file. Okay, guys, it will take long, long time, like somewhere two, three days, four days, five days mm -hmm. to decrypt. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's not discuss more about this, like digital forensic part. Okay, this is just for the example purpose I told you. Like if it is encrypted, he is not able to steal any of the information or anything, right? If you try to do also, he can't decrypt that file. So that means he'll not get anything, any information fra from our side, right? This is as a administrator, as a security guy, what you have to think? Like our information, our, our data should not be breached, correct? Yes. Guys, I need response. Yes, yes. So what will happen here? Let's assume this is client and this is server. So <clears throat> uh, 
it will send client will send a hello message okay with encrypted session how with the help of chipper chipper suit will be there <clears throat> what does this chip, chipper suit will give this is a name okay this is a functionality like it will give you a tls version mm -hmm. okay this chipper will provide you a tls version like this client is first he is communicating to the server okay like <clears throat> with encrypted session in the encrypted session what you will be having yes okay in encrypted session what you will be having some encrypted key right mm, yes keys are generated right yes <clears throat> and this this tls version this this information will be stored in your os end device os like whatever device you are using this in this information will be provided in this like let's assume this client is using windows right so this versions will be updated in your devices itself os itself <clears throat> so in second step what will happen again this is client server will get a response what response hello response from guys from the server. server but uh, server. i have a question here this uh, hmm. hello yeah, yeah, this me. hello message will be encrypted also no this hello or message will, be will not be encrypted no you are approaching yeah. someone right yeah yeah right if you want to approach some someone so what will happen once once you once you say hi yeah hello to the server it it will be generated some key using the help of chipper and this tls information will be shared to the server tls version information will be shared to the server shared right. and this key will be generated here session key mm -hmm. Okay. But text will go in the normal way, like plain text. No, 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 guys. I am not plain text. This is an approach. Like how it, this is a mechanism of SSL TLS protocol. Mm -hmm. Other party is available or not? Yeah, it is not parties available uh, or not. Like uh, first time, if you want to. Uh, do a friendship with someone or some at uh, first time if you want to interact with someone like if you are working in your one organization or anything so uh, how can i say uh, yeah uh, uh, suppose uh, when i am sending see, hello then see, I'm, i am your trainer hello, no? listen listen i'll give you the best example now i am your trainer okay so what will happen you will directly come and approach me if you don't know me or anything how you will approach will greet you first you will say hi ah uh, uh, you will you will say something about yourself right you will share some information about yourself or else why 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 i'll share my information to you correct oh yeah yeah this is the information like he is client is requesting like i want to communicate with google google.com so what he is sharing with that he is sharing some information right with the help of chipper suit he is sharing some information of tls version like he is using 1.0 yeah 1.2 yeah 1.3 once he request once he say, once he say hello to the server what server will do server will generate one key session key correct yes mm. again server will what it will do it will reply with the hello if you say hello to me what i'll do i'll reply you with the hello yeah hi correct mm, yes. with the use of 
cheaper suit again this conversation is going on in encryption no encryption process has not had started this is okay. a this is a step to, step by step procedure to start an encryption okay so what it will do it will response will be having it will be replied by the server okay with tls version it will be attaching one certificate with certificate with public key yes key certificate with what key which key public key public key yeah, shared good. key public good. key yeah public key why it is uh, sending uh, attaching uh, the public key with the certificate because public key can be shared yeah so do you guys know about this uh, cryptography rsa asymmetric uh, key yeah yeah oh which yes, follows sir. one one path only asymmetric no 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 it is not like that uh, asymmetric in the sense like at a time uh, two pairs of key is generated one is private and one is public okay. that is what we call it as asymmetric matrix okay. asymmetric okay mm -hmm. at a time private and public key will be generated reason security purpose what do you guys heard about the heard the name of defi hellman yes defi hellman group yes yeah who invented this defi hellman defi hellman right yes mm -hmm. yeah so for the security purpose he he has done like this like at a time two pair of key will be generated one is private and one is public and how does the, this process will work i this again hello and hi hello and hi is done ha huh. public key key only one time uh, ip ipsec are you are telling about ipsec no i am not telling oh, no. about ipsec i am talking about yes, ssl decryption okay so private key will be in your system and public key will exchange over internet yes good who said this answer uh, this side abhi se yeah so what public will be sent correct again again tell me again tell I'll, uh, i'm explaining you wait okay same same thing i have not yet completed uh, okay i'm explaining you very slowly because i know you will get confused surely <clears throat> so let's assume here is some broker or not broker authenticator what we can say again this is your client this is your server how you will communicate yeah. with the help of chipper you will be sending hello message to the server and one key is generated okay key is generated correct okay so if server is generating some key someone should be there to authenticate it right mm. Who will authenticate? The CA. Yeah. You might be having the CA, uh, this which will be built in Windows, right? The root certificate, which will be uh, having some private key encrypted, correct? For the authentication purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Yes. Yes. and what will happen at third step again here in this process and it will verify the certificate which has been sent from the uh, server correct server will attach one public key and it will be sh sharing the certificate to the client again right yes sir yeah.
Yeah. So what it will do? It will verify the server certificate. Extract. Cyber. Public key. Public key, guys. Server has not shared the private key yet. Mm -hmm. So what will happen? It will verify the root certificate. So what client will do once this certificate is shared by the server to the client with some public key, client will ask to verify whether this public key is come from genuine or it is fake. Correct. So this root ser server will ve verify this CA will verify and reply back to the client. Yeah, this this has been come from the genuine website. Correct. Yes. Why client is going to extract the public key? I said here, right? Why the client is going to extract the public key over here? My question is this now. To encrypt pre-master key. Pre-master key in the sense before the traffic is initiated or flow through the uh, before traffic is initiated through the server. It is creating some encrypted key. That is pre-master key. Send back to the server. Right? What, what does pre-master key will have, have actually? Again, the session key, right? Right, guys? Yes. Session key, why session key? Because to encrypt the payload. Payload or data. Then, yes. do you understand the things? Yes. Or should I need to give example? Oh, um, after this, one last step is there. I forgot to tell. Once it is encrypted and sent to the server, right? Server will decrypt the data with the help of private key. Got it? Here, we are discussing public and private key, correct? So, server will verify. One file it has been sent and another, another private key it is keeping with the server to verify. Okay, that thing should match or else you will get an error. Did you guys got it or should I need to explain once more? Once more. Okay. So I'll give you an example. Okay. You guys, if you want to, uh, if, you, if you want the training from uh, training for Palo Alto or anything, you will directly not come and approach me. Correct. You will not find my profile in LinkedIn or anything correct how you guys did first you register in networkings okay networkings what they said what they did they approached me can you give the training for the palo alto correct so i said okay so then networking schedule a demo for you correct after giving demo you verified my profile like somewhere you will be searching in uh, LinkedIn or what is my experience, uh, what are the things you are going to work on. So you will ask these things, correct? Then if you are okay with that, then you are ready to take the training from me. This is how the process is, right? The same way. You are the client, I am the server and networking is the CA, CA server.
done uh, yeah uh, rohit i have a doubt uh, how yeah. is this uh, uh, this uh, uh, you have said pre pre master key is derived hmm. pre master key is derived in the sense that will hmm. that is what uh, the encrypted file okay like from the server it sends the certificate yeah. and hmm. the public key so using that yeah. it, so using that the client derives a yeah. pre master key yeah okay it it will extract the public key which has been sent from the server okay then okay. it will encrypt with a pre master key master key in the sense there is only one key there is no alternative of master key correct so right now the uh, the this connection between client and server is not secure right when this hmm. key exchange happens so hmm. an attacker can also generate a pre master key right no he can't generate the pre master key that is the reason here the ca certificate uh, ca is to author uh, authorizing this certificate right or else how it will like one uh, private key is with uh server and public key shared over here if this both things match over here then only that connection is established right or else connection will be dropped over there if it don't match it it won't allow the traffic to go itself okay okay then yeah. clear yeah clear if any other uh, students is having doubt or anything this the whole mechanism will be processed by the browser right client side the whole process for uh, this ssl handshake no it should be from the both side uh, there, yeah but from the client side it will be done by the browser or there is any other mechanism inside the windows no system. no it is it is there is no uh, nothing related to the windows like operating system or it will be done by the browser only like like in browser if you are searching something okay and mm -hmm. uh, let's assume you are trying to access some uh, something in the instagram or anything okay you, what you will do first you will log in the page mm -hmm. first you will log in the facebook page right right so at the time of login if some if someone is decrypted your traffic what will happen they'll get your admin credentials right then he will be the admin of your he you are the admin of your control also the other guy who is not related to yeah, that account be... he'll also be a admin for your account right yeah before login that so uh, what will happen to, to the he can do anything once he is admin right so before login to the instagram or facebook we have to Uh, do this ssl handshake simple i'll tell you first client will send a hello request with the chipper and tls version details okay then server will re reply with hello with a agreement like yeah i have accepted like you have sent me hello i have accepted with a chipper and again the version details okay server will also be having some some versions right if that don't match then it won't work right i showed you one day like uh, go to the internet option and in the properties advanced properties you'll get tls version ssl tls thing is there i'll show you if you want now also okay after this class and what server will do it will send back with uh, some public key and once that uh, cert certificate is attached with the public key the client will extract the public key and again it will encrypt with uh, some master key that Uh, master key contains the session key and it is sent back to the server once it is matched with the private key of the server then the connection is established so this ca authentication server and that yeah. with that session key uh, the uh, the pre master key is matched with the private key then the decryption will happen or else it won't happen where is this uh, uh, authenticator ca authenticator server hosted it is within client system or it is something where it depends if you are using uh, facebook facebook will be having uh, their authenticator uh, ca authenticating certificate authenticating system 
correct or as if you are hosted somewhere in your organization you will be having somewhere in your organization itself right okay i'll show you that thing also i'll put a diagram and i'll show it to you you understand the mechanism of, uh, mechanism of ssl and uh, tls at least you got idea yes, overview yes. of this yes and i told you to see the dns video have you guys go through it friday i have not been able to go through yeah please go through it watch the video dns once yeah. once it is completed please let me know i'll i'll share you one another animated video of ssl tls so that you will get some some idea okay so what will happen here <clears throat> let's assume this is your firewall and this is internet okay and some server website you have hosted here okay <clears throat> if if this certificate won't match or if something is not matching over here this firewall should drop like drop the traffic right why if some some bad guy is trying to penetrate this server or your anything if if that is decrypted or anything everything will be leaked correct yes Yes. Yeah, and I'll tell you one thing. Like the traffic which flows from your inside to outside. Like if you are accessing something from inside to outside, that is what we that for that mechanism we call SSL forwarding. SSL SSL forward proxy. Okay, and from server, if you are getting some of the information from outside to inside, like. Uh, from your outside uh, untrust zone to some inside zone that we called it as ssl inbound inspection and third is like ssh ss uh, ssl proxy this is uh, nothing related to uh, key or anything it is just a uh, public and private key it's a type okay for this mechanism uh, there is nothing of uh, like pre master key certificate or any other kind of thing it's just an public and private key will be there for the authentication purpose that's it okay like what will happen like uh, if someone is uh, trying to access uh, some facebook.com or anything so if this uh, bad guy or some some guy is sitting over here in the middle of this uh, internet or anything as if you are trying some facebook.com and if he create some phishing website or anything he for him in the browser it will look like facebook.com only right for him in browser it will look like some instagram only you can't able to identify right whether it is a genuine website or a fake website correct mm -hmm. how you will uh, identify whether it is uh, genuine or fake? with the help of private key and public key matching only firewall will uh, because of the ssl forwarding mechanism or inbound inspection mechanism only firewall will get to know whether this is a genuine traffic or a fake traffic correct right? yeah proxy traffic what we can say mm -hmm. so if it is a proxy it will just drop over there it will not allow You guys know about the phishing attack, right? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Similar link they will. 
uh, not similar link they they will be just uh, blocking your uh, uh, account or anything and they'll just create a fake page where once you try to access that instagram or anything in your device it will be asking for username and password so once you enter this one uh, one pair of username and password will be uh, shared uh, will be shared with the pentester guy the bad guy so mm -hmm. illegal activity was what he is doing through this only he'll get this right so mm -hmm. how he'll create this url with the help of the brute force attack right he can jam the things he'll force you to log in everything but if you have enable this kind of thing uh, the encrypted kind of thing it will drop over here if it don't match the public and private key is this possible to capture this ssl handshake by wireshark no if firewall is trying to decrypt the traffic only then then only uh, you can able to capture the traffic but if it is completely encrypted you can't able to capture the traffic okay so how it is like in middle of uh, client and server if firewall is placed over there from client to firewall one tunnel is created and from firewall to server another tunnel is created so client information will be shared with firewall firewall keep, will keep that information with uh, the certification uh, certificate information with firewall and the session id with the firewall and again it will generate new uh, key and it will forward it to the server it will not share the exact uh, keys with the server again <laughs> done with this yes sir so in this also same uh, miss the symmetric uh, symmetric key encryption goes with the dash 3 dash or aes format yeah and in the asymmetric will go with the def element right asymmetric will work because of that reason only you are able to encrypt the traffic yes yes mm -hmm. or else you can't encrypt there are a lot many mechanism are there if i started explaining about cryptography again uh, we have to continue for one month yes yes mm -hmm. why because uh, there is another team will be sitting in the cyber security and that guy will be taking care of say, only on cryptography Yeah. So that is the overview, uh, like RSA and uh, symmetric matrix, how it is working, and the mechanism, like how it is generating public and private key, all at a time. I forgot to tell you one thing, like about anti-spyware. Um, uh, if you enable anti-spyware or anything like, if some uh, what kind of what things will say. in your phone, some security patch update will be there or anything from the CDN network, right? What does CDN network means? Content delivery network. Content delivery network, right? Like some six GB, five GB file. If you are downloading through over internet, you will be not knowing whether that is. Uh, that has been shared from Samsung, yeah, Motorola, yeah, from the apps, uh, Apple website or anything, some security patch update, right? That traffic will also be verified. And if it is, if like, if it is not verified by the firewall side, if it feels like some malicious kind of thing, it will directly deny here itself. It will not allow the traffic over your network to update or anything. then
minutes. Yeah. That's all for today. Uh, server is down, I guess. I'm not able to open the firewall actually today. So we'll close the session. Rohit, you were uh, you were yeah. uh, like uh, you told you would be sharing your notes. Uh, did you share? If I missed any of the no, class, no, I have I haven't shared it. I'm preparing that. Like, yeah, um, okay. No, I'm I thought about I to share about this. Uh, some of the information I haven't added it. So this okay. denatting part, nat. Kind of thing. I haven't prepared the notes for that. Okay. okay. Not no. SSL decryptions or anything. I actually am. Uh, I'm putting some images in that, so that you could have understand that easily. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Today's class uh, 